a very good morning and welcome for school mass at the name of jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth for the lord became obedient to death death on a cross therefore jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the communion of the holy spirit be with you all my dear brothers and sisters and children let's acknowledge all of our sins and failures to participate worthily in these sacred mysteries i confess May Almighty God have mercy on us for He is our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who will your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy? grant us your servants to attain the grace of resurrection through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Everyone who sees me makes fun and sneers. They shake their heads and say, trust the Lord. If you are his favorite, let him protect you and keep you safe. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Enemies have tied up my hands and my feet. I count all my bones. They took my clothes and then gambled my for them. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Don't stay far away. Don't stay far away, Lord. My strength comes from you. So hurry and help. And when your people meet, I will praise you, Lord. My God, my God, my God, my God. my God, my God, my 
Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ became obedient for us even to death, dying on the cross. Therefore, God raised him on high and gave him a name above all other names. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went toward Jerusalem. As he was getting near to Bethage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples on ahead. He told them, Go into the next village, where you will find a young donkey that has never been ridden. Untie the donkey and bring it here. If anyone asks why you are doing that, just say, The Lord needs it. They went off and found everything just as Jesus had said. While they were untying the donkey, its owners asked, Why are you doing that? They answered, The Lord needs it. Then they led the donkey to Jesus. They put some of their clothes on its back and helped Jesus get on. And as he rode along, the people spread clothes on the road in front of him. When Jesus was starting down the Mount of Olives, his large crowd of disciples were happy and praised God because of all the miracles they had seen. They shouted, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to God. Some Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, make your disciples stop shouting. But Jesus answered, if they keep quiet, these stones will start shouting. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus. Throughout the year, we heard Jesus Christ performing so many miracles. We heard His great preachings. Now, His life comes to climax. His earthly human life, story of life, comes to an end with His entry finally into Jerusalem. My dear friends and children, God is giving his life message. In the drama of Lord Jesus Christ, we have climax with his sacrifice of himself on the cross for the whole humanity. And today, the readings of Palm Sunday. The God's life message is something to learn for our human life, especially the Christian life. Being the followers of Jesus Christ, never expect the life to be a bed of roses. My dear friends, Jesus all through three years of his ministry among people with so many miracles, great preachings, he had a great multitude of people following him. But when it comes to final stage, they received him with great enthusiasm and happiness for the Feast of Passover in Jerusalem. 
they welcomed him offered him a donkey spread clothes on the road and they sang praises to him and to god my dear friends that is part of our human life people will praise us people will appreciate us people will be after us and they will sing praises and glories but be on ground be true disciple of lord jesus christ when everything is fine people will be with us and we also will enjoy the presence of our dear ones because that mo- those moments will add so many great memories for our lives but the time will come the time has come for lord jesus christ as we heard in today's first reading and he says i refuse to give up because i know i will never be ashamed the lord god keeps me from being embarrassed when did he say those words we heard from isaiah but it is with regard to life of jesus christ when he reached a moment when those people who praised him who welcomed him who offered him donkey made him to be seated on it and sang praises and glories finally those people were giving him to be offered as a sacrifice they are all referring him to be a victim my dear friends today jesus christ his own words we heard in our responsorial song my god my god why have you abandoned me my dear friends jesus was filled with agony but at the same time he was his heart was filled with compassion for the humanity the people made him to be a victim on the cross for the sake of our sins so likewise in our own lives too people who praise us who glorify us who are with us in our good times but when time comes they will become our enemies they will hand over our lives to the evil and we will be in a position of lord jesus christ crying out my god my god why have you abandoned me when we are seriously ill when we are in utter distress in agony because of our humiliations because of other people who torture us and we will reach to this stage and we will question god why these things happen to me why you have left me alone we are following the lord we are obeying his commandments we are trying to move closer to his heart we are praying every day we are saying rosary and we have everything every link we have with god in prayer in sacraments and what not but finally why this situation for me all of us in one moment or the other we will question god jesus being a human being though he was divine but he took our own flesh as human beings and he was also in a way facing same kind of challenge in his life in the final stage he was not able to bear the humiliation the pain my dear friends and he says my god my god why have you abandoned me but 
he remembered the will of god the father he remembered the promise he made to his father that he would give his life for the people as the ransom for many for the sake of deliverance for sake of salvation of all my dear friends he offered himself on the cross we are in holy week the very important part of our christian life journey and this holy week we as god children we need to look into our own selves it is very easy to contemplate upon the life of jesus christ we listen to the word of god and we understand that oh jesus offered himself this way he entered into jerusalem people people welcomed him people appreciated him and after some time they say crucify him crucify him and they hand over him to to death penalty on the cross and he finally he dies on the cross this is the story we are going to meditate upon this holy week but there is life after there is joy after this agony there is something wonderful after this struggle of life and jesus is proving everybody and asking us to hope in god my dear friends in our life journey jesus christ is our hope we are all going to participate in the resurrection of the lord soon so before that we have to understand take up your cross and follow me so when you really take up your cross cross means the suffering the pain for the sake of god for the sake of gospel values for the sake of truth we each one of us have to undergo this kind of agony humiliation suffering but we need to accept them with joy hoping in god god will never he will never put me under shame he will he will lift me up he will walk with me and and today you and me who are god children we have to be faithful to god do not be faithful only the time you have everything in hand you have people around the time you are enjoying of this earthly life don't think god is with you and you are so happy when when you face the challenges of life kind of illness suffering what what not all the stuff which we do not invite into our life never accept them but when they they come on our way and that time we say god is not walking with me he left me and we will be crying but remember god never god will never leave us he is always with us he himself is showing us a way he himself carried the cross he suffered he was humiliated and finally he was killed my dear friends and we also have to undergo not that much of pain not that much of suffering not that much of agony and struggle but very little bit we will have to face in our life and that one is just an gist of the cross experience in our lives but that will give us a boost in our faith life and you will later recognize and realize in your life that god has done this for for my own good it is through this pain through this suffering through this carrying of this cross god is lifting me up into that life of glory and you will enjoy that life after so my dear friends and dear children in your life to remember jesus himself faced the challenges of this life and i also should take up this kind of challenges bravely and boldly hoping in god and god will surely help us and he will teach us so many things through these sufferings of life god bless you all amen
the time for prayers and petitions. Our good Lord is always ready to listen to us if we were to pray with trust and faith in Him. Let us now offer our prayers and petitions for our own sake and for whole church and society. The Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, James our Bishop, Father Joji, and for all the bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For the leaders of the world, that they would work together to promote peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. For each of us here, that we that we may live this holy week with special reverence, awareness, and self-giving, we pray to the Lord. that they may unite your sufferings to the passion of the Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. Thanksgiving for all the blessings in our lives, especially our family, friends, and the school community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. For the prayers we hold in our, our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass for Bob Higgins, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for vocations. O oh God, to bless our diocese with many priests, brothers, sisters, and deacons who will be do with their own mind and heart and gladly spend their entire lives serving your church and making you known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children, and choose from our homes those needed for your work. Mary, Mary, Queen of the Blood, pray for us. Pray for our priests, religious, and deacons. Obtain for us many more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become 
our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that, celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim Holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope 
and James, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. And, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray Endo us almighty god with the firm conviction that through your son's death in time to which the revered mysteries bear witness we may be assured of perpetual life through christ our lord shall we give round of applause for all children who led us in this liturgy thank you and thanks also to teacher who helped them the lord be with you please bow your heads for god's blessings grant your faithful o lord we pray to partake unceasingly of the paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth they may be led by lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go and live in peace of Christ. Thank you all. God bless. Good day.